In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Amok Time George A. Romero's Day of the Dead Bub Deluxe Action Figure. Obviously some sad news with the passing of George A. Romero, the father of zombie films. I figure it was fitting enough to go back and have a look at the Day of the Dead Bub action figure release from the folks over at Amok Time. There was also a Dr. Tongue released. Uh, now this was back in 2009. Didn't get a chance to pick him up, but I did manage to get a uh, Bub here from... It was one of the subscription box services. I can't remember which one it was, but let's get some measurements going for this guy. He stands, if you don't technically count the display stand, Bub stands at seven and a half inches taller. So he's actually a little bit taller than some of the other horror related figures that we've looked at on this channel. If you want to count the display base that he stands on, the base stands about eight inches tall. Uh, it is, it actually comes in two pieces. Let me just, attach bub here. This is actually one peg right on the flooring. Uh, you'll see also that's chained together. Now what you can do though is you can detach, there's like a little looplet here, that you can detach it from the base. It's difficult though and I've only, I've tried it and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna leave it because I know I'm gonna break that off. Um, actually the latch is right here. It's not the easiest to get off. It's specifically more, a lot more difficult to get on. And I'll just take it off here so you guys can see. The concern is not necessarily taking it off here. It's unlooping it. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. It's unlooping it from the little ringlet that's attached to his back. That is just too much hassle. So one of the reasons why, again, I just don't detach this. I won't take this off. But let me just tab this back on, clip this back on so I can show you the figure. Here's the base for starters. The base has kind of a wall backdrop here with some blood there. Uh, when you get it out of the packaging, let me just show you. There's two pegs and then there are two peg holes on the bottom of the wall. And those just snap into place just like that. I don't feel it's the most secure fits at times when I was putting it in, it felt like the pegs wanted to break. Um, but again, there's some really nice paint, some nice details to it. And I like that he's got a real chain, you know, so that's that's got some mileage for me. It does limit the figure, again, unless you wanted to try to entertain the idea of looping those chains through that little ringlet. I personally will not be doing that. So let's have a look at Bub, good old Bub. Looks great. I mean, so he's he's a little bit of an older figure, so you have to kind of look at it a little bit differently than a newer release. He obviously is pretty pre-posed. His legs don't do anything. Uh, there's no posability in his feet. His waist has just a bare, very bare minimum swivel, uh, but that's basically all you get for the legs. The arms do have a little extra mileage going for him. Um, you can hinge them outward and you can rotate them all the way around. He's got some swiveling going on in his hands, and of course his head does rotate as well. Um, the detailing on his face, though, again, pretty good. Favoring more of a very gray tone, gray-based series of colors. Even like the hair has a very gray tone to it. He's got a gash on the sides of his face, on one side of his face. Wrinkles are pretty good. I mean, it does have a very slightly dated look to it, but it still gets the point across. And I think it's a pretty decent looking representation of Bub. You can see his little teeth going on there. Very vacant stare in his eyes. Paint in the pupils, which are good. Yeah, paint's pretty clean for what it needs to be. His jacket, he's got, you know, just move that out of the way. He's got his shirt underneath. He's got some nice dirt and stuff all over, caked all over the jacket. Favoring kind of like a lighter gray that they've washed over top of that. Areas which the sleeve are ripped away. You can see his shirt underneath that. Yeah, pretty much a good looking figure all around. Uh, he does have a couple of uh, posing options. He does come with an uh, interchangeable hand. I'll show you that in a second. 
The defaulted hand, or arm in this case, gives you a saluting, I salute you, sir, kind of pose to him. Uh, what you can also do, too, is you can take the arm off, oops, try not to knock the display down in the process, and you can swap it out for this arm. I have to admit that the ball joints are rather large, that you have to really apply some pressure to get it fixed in there. And he does also have a secondary kind of pose that you can put him in, where he comes with the, the pistol. Now the pistol is very warped, unfortunately, getting out of packaging. There's the pistol right there. Kind of a darker gunmetal that they used for it, and they painted the handle in brown. You can pose Bub also with the gun in his hand. You know, depending on, again, which way you want to display the figure. Just rotate the hand slightly. There we go. So you can do that, as you, you know, if you want. Uh, I probably will not display him with that because he's got so many other cool things going for him. Oh, and also he's got an ab crunch or kind of a upper torso crunch. Can't forget that as well. But he does come with so many other cool accessories that I probably won't display him with the gun. Let's get him pegged in again. There we go. Let's run through his other accessories. For starters, he comes with a pail of guts. Oh, just gross gross disgusting little things inside this bucket Eesh. the blood I have to admit the blood they seem to do a good job on picking the right color blood it's not that really weird neon red that you've seen with some older figures they've given a nice dark kind of cranberry almost like a beet color uh, for the red and you can see some of the just the blood that's on the handle and the side of the, the bucket looks really good really gross love it of course, he comes with his tape recorder and his headphones, which is probably what I'm going to be displaying him with. Silver's been added to the headset there, and you've got the green cable, green cord running to the tape deck. They've painted in the play, and I guess that's the record button. There's the bottom underside of it. Um, I guess you could display him just trying to see if I can pry the fingers open to get the tape deck in his hand. I actually have not yet tried this. Just pry that open. Sometimes you really have to pry these hands open to get things to fit in the figures. There we go. Because you obviously can't just have the tape player levitating, which is basically what would happen if you, you know, if you just had him wearing the earphones. That's probably how I'm going to be displaying the figure. Because that to me, like that, that says bub to me, you know, the, the listening, listening to the, uh, the tape deck. One of the other things he does come with too, very, very small accessory, uh, is his razor. There's a little razor there. There is a peg. I don't know if you can see it. There's a peg right on the side. Now I'm kind of looking all around the figure. Uh, I'm looking on the floor. I don't see anything. Uh, I don't really see where this peg plugs into place unless unless it's in one of the... Well, let me just show you here. Let me just attach Bub back to his stand. I just... I spied with my little eye, my little tiny eye. His hand, right... There we go. Get the camera focus. He's got like a little notch. I don't know if you can see it there. He's got a little tiny notch in his hand that I'm wondering. It's not nearly enough of a recessed area, but you see there is like a little notch right there that I thought the razor could slide or attach itself to. And it doesn't really look like it does, I guess. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's the peg hole right there. It's misleading. And it barely does it. But see, there's that little notch right there. But if you look at his finger, there's his, there's the hole. The hard part, though, is trying to not apply so much pressure that you break the handle of the razor, but you want enough pressure that it plugs into the hole. A very, very difficult feat. But you would get him to essentially hold the razor like that if you want to display Bub with the razor. I guess you could also just glue it into place as well. 
yeah it's it's very difficult to get that to to peg into place but there's the hole right there just yeah I'm not that's difficult that's gonna be a hard one to plug into place uh, yeah just a great figure though I mean he's a little older it's gonna actually stand in his base here he is a little bit older but there's really not a lot of bub figures out there. I think actually NECA did one as well, which I, I haven't picked up yet. Um, but I, I like I like what they've accomplished here. I like the base. I like the chain. The accessories are pretty good. Um, I mean, again, he's a little limited on posability, but I think he does things well enough that having him on display now, he doesn't really scream, ah! doesn't really scream uh, an outdated figure. He does things, I think, still pretty well despite the fact that the figures, I think, are from 2009. Uh, again, I wanted to do, like, something, you know, sad to hear about George A. Romero's passing. Um, I wouldn't consider myself as big of a zombie fan as some of my friends who were, like, die-hard zombie fans. But uh, I did really enjoy watching uh, his many different Day of the Deads. I didn't really like Diary of the Dead, but uh, Day of the Dead... And Dawn of the Dead, of course, one of my all-time favorite horror movies of all time. Definitely want to do something uh, in the memory of George A. Romero. Today we were, though, looking at the Amok Time. This was the Monstars line with a big Z. Uh, we were looking today at the George A. Romero's Day of the Dead Bub Deluxe Action Figure. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss future videos coming onto this channel. And if you're a fan of zombie films and zombie figures, I've also got a playlist on the channel for you as well. So you can kind of go back and watch other videos that I've done on this channel, all relative to flesh-eating zombies and brain-eating zombies and people that just go, which aren't probably really zombies. They're just, they're just people that look kind of dumb. Uh, anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.